professor so in this particular video we'll be learning about what is a control chart and how to build one in tableau so let us understand with what is a control chart first so let me take a simple example like suppose you are making a cake at home so like in an oven like there's a certain temperature range is there so like you need to bake a cake in a certain temperature range like you should know that range like if it is above that range or below that range then the cake will be overcooked or less cooked and like it will affect the quality of the cake right so that case the temperature is the critical parameter we should be measure over time right so there is certain upper limit and there is certain lower limit like we should know before making a cake that should be like you can take with an experience like who might be familiar with making cake in your home or like in the you might be ordering cake from somewhere so you can ask them like what are the temperature you're using at your place for making cake and all so these all thing we should take into consideration like so that is what is a control chart basically means is like if you're building a control chart in tableau so there is a there will be a time series data correct so like you'll be measuring a one variable at a time and you have to measure it with the lower control limit and the upper control limit so what is that lower control limit and upper control limit so basically like there's a time series data so we will calculate the mean like what is the average value in the data set so once our averages our averages has been determined so we'll see like how much it is deviating from our mean that means standard deviation like how much it is deviating from our mean so in statistical control chart we usually use three standard deviation like if it is crossing the three standard deviation that means like the variable like the process variable which we are using is not under control limit okay so i hope you might be clear somehow in this and you will be fully clear when we will see all this live in action in tableau so let us deep dive in and build our own control chart so let us start now so this is the control chart which is shown in one of the website i can give you the link in the description so you can see like this is one variable which is changing over time and you can see like there's a lower control limit and an upper control limit and this is the mean like according to which like this upper control limit and lower control limit is defined and this sigma represent the standard deviation like how it is debiting from mean so like if the point is above this like above this three sigma like three standard deviation then this is like out of our control that means or below this then also it is out of our control like then we should like that should that parameter should be critically managed like with some precautions and all so now let us deep dive into tableau so i have connected the super to data set same data set so what we're going to do is like drag our sales to the row shelf and order date to the column shelf so you will get an line graph time series data and just change it this year to month from this drop down perfect so now our line graph is ready correct so now what we want to do is like first of all like we need to give like three standard deviation which i told you right so before that like one more thing was there like to build an average so you can go to the analytics tab so you can find an average line so you can just drag the average line to the table perfect so this average line has been there so you can right click on that and you can click on edit and i want to edit it like i want to show the label as custom and i want to show it as like average and then like semicolon sorry colon and the value okay and the line should be like the dotted line i want to show okay and the thin line i want to show suppose so i can just make the adjustment whatever i need and click on okay perfect now our average line has been set up right so now what we want to do is all we need to create a parameter where we will like determine a standard deviation correct so you can click on this visual blue there like click on this drop down and click on create parameter and here i am writing number of number of standard deviation okay so this will be an integer and i want to give it a range because it should be like from one to three so that's why i like minimum maximum and a step size of one it should go one two three and then steps as a one like one two and three okay so yeah click on okay so here our parameter has been defined and you can click on this drop down and click on show parameter so you can see our standard deviation has been parameter has been ready 
so now what we want to do is like we want to create a calculated field where we want to give this standard deviation like we want to wire our parameter so that it should work okay let's build our calculated field that is the upper control limit so what is our upper control limit like the average plus the standard deviation and the number of standard deviation which we are using in our parameter right so what we will do is we will do the window average so we will for doing for sum of sales number we want to do the average and close the bracket plus window standard deviation for the same parameter like for sum of sales into like a parameter like how much number of standard deviation is changing right close close like one more time close sorry so like one more one bracket we missed it here so that should be close into and like again like we have to enter it so let me just remove this click on enter now our calculation is valid right so you can see the calculation one more time what we are doing here is like the upper control limit will should be like the mean plus the standard deviation right so for that particular window we want to do so that's why it is used as window average term we are using so window average for the aggregated term like this is the sum of sales which is shown in the visualization so we are taking the aggregate for the window average for the aggregate graphs we're taking the average that is the mean and plus like the standard deviation like how much it is changing correct and we have given our parameter that is the number of standard deviation like our upper control limit should change according to the standard deviation selected by the user correct so click on ok perfect so now what you can do is you can just click on this and duplicate it and edit it and what i'm going to do is like just remove this and just try it lower control limit name calculated field and i'm converting into lower control limit so that will be like minus correct like sum of says minus the standard deviation and it is into the number of times the standard deviation is changing correct so click on ok so now our upper control limit and lower control limit are set up right so what we can do is just select both and drag it into detail shelf okay so now what we can do is once it is once we have given in the detail shelf so now what we want to do is we have to show the reference band like the reference line so we can drag the reference band into the table shelf in the sum of sales so once we do that you will get a option like for band from and band to like band from like the lower limit and the upper limit like minimum and the maximum limit you can consider so here we can select a lower control limit that is the minimum limit and the label i want it to be custom and i want to show it as lcl that is the lower control limit space and value and same for this we can do like upper control limit custom and we can show upper control limit and the value right and line i want to show it as the dotted line again and i don't want to show show recalculated line for data yes click on ok okay so our lower and upper control limit has been changed so if i am clicking on this so you can see our standard deviation has been changing right like according to our standard deviation like our line graph is changing like this is, so now what we want to do is we want to highlight this point like the points which are outside the limit right so what we can do is first of all i want to change this color i want to change this color to gray or not this much like gray okay the visualization the points which are above like which are like beyond our control limit like lower and upper control limit should be highlighted by, with the help of a dot or a circle we can say so what we can do is we can create a calculated field here mm -hmm. and we can name it like out of range values okay so in that case uh, what we can give is we can give a simple condition like if our sum of sales is our is greater than upper control limit like a sales number are going upper control limit or less than this lower control limit or sum of sales less than lower control limit then we want to show sum of sales 
right and oh sorry then we want some of says else we don't want anything and so now like uh, what it is showing here, here is like closing parenthesis in sum of says okay so like i have not completed this like i have not closed this now our calculation is valid so you can click on okay so once we click on okay we can what we can do is we can just drag this out of range to the row shelf on the right hand side so these are the points which are outside so what we can do is we can just change it label to circle and we can increase the size if we want but i think it is perfect only and we can change the color to red and we can change the opacity according to our wish and what we can do is we can just click on dual axis chart perfect right and we can reduce the size because it is looking very large not it's looking very small just according to visible range here yeah, correct and we can change our colors here sorry so we can change our color from here color palette so i want to show the sales number with blue color oh sorry with gray color and my out of range with red color and click on apply okay so this is our control chart is ready and sorry for one thing like my video was coming on the right hand side to the top so you were not able to see the number of standard deviation in the start of the video so i really apologize for that and i know you will be forgiving me so now i'll show you again like once you have synchronized the axis what you can see is like if i change the standard deviation like this and this is the second standard deviation only one point is there which is outside our control limit and if i change it to three so there is no value which is outside our control limit right so this is how we can build our control chart in tableau so so thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you do so then do hit the like button and also share it with your friends as much as you can as it helped me a lot and it can help my channel to grow i hope you will help me out in growing my channel so stay tuned for the next video Till then, stay safe, be happy and smile more often. Bye-bye.